Hi, my name is Margaret. I graduated from the Honors College in May of 2022. I was a health science preoccupational therapy major with a psychology minor. Right after I graduated, I started at Ohio State to get my doctorate of occupational therapy. That's a three-year program and I'll graduate with my clinical doctorate in May of 2025. I chose Cleveland State for a lot of different reasons, um, one of which was because as a health science major and knowing that I wanted to go into healthcare, the location in Cleveland puts you close to Cleveland Clinic, University Hospitals, all of those in the program was really good as well. I also ran cross country and track at Cleveland State, so that was a good fit as well. Being in the Honors College prepared me for grad school in a few different ways. I was able to take graduate level classes as an undergraduate, which I took neuroscience and a class called Issues in Healthcare. I ended up taking neuroscience again in grad school, but it was a lot easier the second time around. And the Issues in Healthcare class gave me a lot of information that I think will definitely carry forward both as a clinician and I can see the connections in my classes now. I was also able to do an internship as part of my capstone which I did that in a school in Cleveland as a behavior support intern, and that's definitely an opportunity I couldn't have had without the Honors College. My favorite part about being in the Honors College was the Honors Experience classes. So I know one of them, you get to like go around to different Cleveland places, and that one would have been really cool, but two of my favorite were the publicity one, where I got to run the Instagram, and my other favorite one was yoga. My word of advice to incoming students is to get involved in things that you're really interested in, don't just join a club because you think it'll look good on your resume. Pick things you actually like because I'm sure there's something out there. Um, some of my favorite things were volunteering at University Hospitals and St. Vincent's, which were both really close. And as an athlete, I was also really involved in athletics. My favorite inspirational quote would be, she believed she could, so she did. I know it's a cliche, but I feel like it's carried over in a lot of different areas of my life. Um, applying to grad school is a really difficult process, and I definitely had to believe in myself, especially going into interviews. I also feel like as a runner, you definitely have to believe you can do something before you do it, and it just carries over into a lot of different things.